I don't even know where to start this. Uh, except that the universe keeps showing me over and over and over and over. Stop putting people on pedestals. All these spiritual teachers out there. Like, we all learn and we all teach each other. And I'm continuously learning over the years. Do not believe anyone 100%. Um, we're all individual souls. We all have our own journeys and things that are going to resonate with us for the path that we uh, individually have chosen. And so... I'll find teachers that I really love and I'll resonate with a lot of what they say and then something will come along and I'll be like, whoa, 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 what? <laughs> that is not true for me. Um, at least where I am now in the maturity of my relationship with God. And so what happened this weekend was there was a teacher that I really respect and I tell everyone to go listen to him, but he made a post this weekend saying something to the effect of if you ever get triggered by anything then essentially you're not connected to spirit and you're not enlightened and I have to completely disagree <laughs> I think that is coming from uh, like Buddhist philosophy I believe where you just have to be a Zen robot in order to be somehow connected to God and I'm sorry but that's not true again it's coming from I guess what perspective you're coming from. I would assume that that's true if you're living in some really, really high dimensional plane, but we as souls decided to incarnate here on the 3D at this time. And the whole purpose of the 3D is to live in this duality. And we're living on a planet that is so filled with the, the spirit of death. We're like literally in a death culture right now. And so to tell people that if they're not upset or triggered about what's going on here, then they're not connected to God. I feel like that's spiritual bypassing. You know, I, I get it again on the highest level. Yes, the darkness has its place. It causes catalyst. It causes growth. But at the same time, we're in this 3D. We were put here as the mouthpieces and the hands of God. So we can speak out against things, we can act against things. If you're staying, I'm oh, sorry, there's someone behind me. Like if I am in, or trying to be in the positive polarity, yes, I can get triggered about things. Jesus did, and Jesus was the person who came here to show us what the energy of the Christ consciousness is. Jesus flipped tables, Jesus yelled at people, Jesus called people out, especially, and it was mostly the religious people that he was calling out. So for teachers to come on here and say, if you ever get upset by anything or anyone that you're not connected to God, I just have to be like, <laughs> are you saying that Jesus wasn't? <laughs> and when I said that, he couldn't say anything back to me. He just ignored me. So This is the thing with the spiritual community that I'm, like, I really don't feel like I fit in most places because I'm not religious. I'm spiritual, but I don't get along with most spiritual people because I feel like I'm in this weird middle area where I don't want a spiritual bypass. I'm not 100% happy all the time. Like, yeah, life is becoming pretty great, but I'm in this 3D meat suit in order to experience the duality of this planet. And so, if you're trying to just be happy and ignore all of the darkness here, you're not really doing your spiritual work, in my opinion. Emotions have their place. If anger comes in, is it a righteous anger? Is there authenticity behind that anger? Am I angry about people being hurt? then that's not bad. Why, why suppress that? That's pr trying to give me catalyst in order to get up and do something for good, right? So I don't know, just a reminder, if you're on a journey like this, even if you're not on a spiritual journey, just don't believe everyone 100%. Like, 
connect to God and find your own path. Peace.